Juices are down, really, really silky and sticky. Loads of little bits, that's the, the little bits of pork that have fallen off during cooking. So, warm the pan, a little bit more butter. In goes the cabbage. Some salt and a little pepper. And then sieve all the juices over the cabbage. Now, you know a classic choucroute is always done. It takes about 500 years to cook. And it's done with a load of white wine. Um, and it's silly. All the acidity I need is here from the wine. The cabbage is cooked to the point where it's got a little bite. And my sweetness comes from the rhubarb. Out comes my pork. How long was that in the oven for, John? About half an hour. Okay. It's only a very, very, very small piece. So, just warm the cabbage. In the pork and wine, juices. Lay these in the middle of the plate. And finally, a couple of slices of the pork. I absolutely adore pork, and I absolutely adore this dish. A little bit of parsley. And there you go. Now the most important part of the day, the tasting. There you go, Tom. It looks good, it smells good, but it's up now, to our have a bit of rhubarb, a bit of cabbage and a bit of pork off the end there. And give it to our the two oh, products. Gorgeous. Dig in, we need your opinions. Okay. All right, let's give it a try. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's mm. it taste like? Well, I must say, the um, coating, the walnut and breadcrumbs, is very crunchy, gives it that kind of texture. So it balances with the pork, so you've got a bit of crunchiness there and the softness of the pork. What does the rhubarb do to it? The rhubarb's kind of high-pitched. Lovely. Um, but um, definitely got that succulent flavour. Kimberly? I have to tell you, the combination of the rhubarb with the savoy cabbage and the pork, it's intriguing and, and just wonderful to your palate all at the same time. It's fantastic. Wow, I didn't expect anything less. All I have to do is thank you, John, for, number one, making me very, very happy, making all our diners happy, and for proving what a genius chef you are. So thank, thank you very much. And I'm not being oily, I really mean that. To make John's delicious pork recipe, you'll need to pick up a nice loin of pork from the butchers. To flavour the pork, you'll need lemon, garlic and parsley. For the crust, you'll need walnuts, breadcrumbs and butter. You'll also need some chicken stock and white wine. And to serve, you'll need to pick up some savoy cabbage and rhubarb.